Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Isabel and today I'll be doing my repressing for the Kiko Milano eyeshadow palette. I decided to do this because first off, I was trying to repress my elf blush that I told you guys recently that it got shattered and I was like, you know what, maybe I should do a repressing video on it literally. I dropped the whole thing and I had to vacuum it and I'll show you guys a picture of it. I was so sad. I worked so hard on it. It was over a hundred. I think it was like 132 uses and I still didn't hit pan. I'm pretty sure I was close to panning, like hit pan on it, but I guess I didn't. But I am going to try to do this one right here. So I'll show you guys how it looks. My husband actually got me this palette. Yeah, it's like completely shattered but i'm gonna clean this up too so i already have my you know panning tool my z palette what else there we go this little magnetic round pan right here and then i have my what is it oh and i have my tool right here so in case I need it, I don't think I do, but because I'm using a, a flat surface, so hopefully uh, let's just get started then. So I'm deciding to repress it because, like I said, it broke. Yeah, it completely shattered. So let me just uh, let me just do this really quick, and I want to get every use out of this right here. So. gosh this is like i believe this is like my first time doing it in videos so hopefully you guys can see what i'm doing and then i'm also another thing why i wanted to repress it is because this is the only shade that i'm using from this palette since it's in my dia de los muertos um, Day of the Dead panning project. So hopefully, it's like, uh, hopefully, I get everything cleaned up too. See, even the mirror, it's like extremely dirty right here. So, I actually got this palette when I was, uh, on my birthday a couple years ago, my husband bought this for me, and he bought me like the whole Kiko Milano Wonder Woman collection. I'm obsessed with Wonder Woman. Hopefully, I don't know if I should bring a brush into this to try to get the whole thing out. And then with the e.l.f. Um, blush, uh, I saw this one video, there was this one girl that she tried, um, she did a repressing video without alcohol, and I tried doing it, and I was like, oh, it doesn't look that bad, and then I ended up trying to put it in my Z palette, and it completely shattered, so, and then I completely dropped it, and, yep, everything fell apart, so, I feel like the panning gods were telling me to make this video because I was thinking about doing it with the elf one, but I was like, I don't think I have time, but now I'm doing it. Hopefully you guys could see how much product I have. I don't know if I this is all I got. I think I'm going to clean this up later, but let me just, let's just get through the video of just, just trying to get this product in this little baby pan. Oh, 
little bits in this little tiny pan. I think I already crushed it enough. So. And I got this, um, oh god, hopefully I won't drop in it. Okay. Let's do the product right here. That's okay, that's okay. I don't think I need that much product anyways. But hopefully it falls into place. This is like the only pan. Oh, I'm so scared. I really hope it fits in there because... Let me just use the... The napkin right here, so I don't drop anything. So I can try to catch everything. Oh yes. Okay, there we go. Okay, then I got the majority of it. That's good. Oh no! Okay, you know what? Let me just drop it. Screw it. Just drop it. Mm, I don't think this matters, but on, let me try to get rid of the excess in the trash. But I'm still gonna use this um, towel just to try to repress it. So I guess I'll use this cap right here that I have. For um, this is a hand sanitizer, so hold on. Well, let me just remove it, so it'll be easier for me. Will it fit? Yes, it fits. Does it fit? Ooh, okay, that's not bad. Let me just put a little bit of alcohol because. I really don't want to. Oh god, did I put the lot? Hold on. It's okay, it's okay. I'm gonna soak everything up. Okay, I still have some on the side. It's like, as I pushed it too hard. everything in mm, okay yeah that should be fine that was easier than I expected I feel like that oh, no oh thank god oh Jesus okay oh girl okay thank god I didn't drop it well I did drop it but it didn't break but anyways this is how it looks Hopefully when it um, dries up, it'll look a lot different. And I already know that this shade is going to change the, um, not the, what's it called? It's going to change the effect when I put it on, but that's fine. And then I'll just put this one right here. And I got this um, Z palette in Sephora online it was four dollars so you know what that's fine i also <clears throat> i also wanted to <sighs> i also wanted to try doing this one the jeffree star palette this was such an amazing highlighter you guys sad because i accidentally dropped it yup but you know what that's fine maybe in another panning you know recovery <laughs> video I'm trying to do it soon, but yeah, I got this from my husband as well when around, I think it was like Christmas time, two or three years ago, and that palette lasted me for such a long time, but you know what, that's fine. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching my video, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!